our particular case, it has made absolutely no difference whether I'm in Buenos Aires or I'm in Manhattan. I see uh, cases where people come to court and they really don't have a legal problem, they have a social problem. There's a lot of opportunity within this university to work together to, uh, to bring alumni together and to form partnerships. And this morning, we celebrate your service. The President of the University will present the 2013 Alumni Medalists. Keith Fitzgerald Goggin. The first strong memory that I have of the J School is being in this room, the World Room, and Fred Friendly, the legendary CBS newsman, was running the class and he was hurling pocket copies of the Constitution at any student who couldn't quote the First Amendment from memory. And I remember sitting in the room thinking it was the greatest place on earth at that moment. I was classmates with Suzanne Malveaux from CNN, John Deanst from NBC, Mary Thompson from CNBC. This class really fed off of one another. It was an intense year. I think that journalism school was a great foundation for my business career. For everyone that has left journalism, they've continued to use their skills that they learned at the school in the pursuit of whatever endeavor they ended up uh, pursuing. I tell people that the great thing about Columbia is that you graduate, but you never have to leave. I'm a member of the school's Board of Visitors, and in that role, I've served on a couple of subcommittees, including the subcommittee that uh, decided that we should renovate this room. The Alumni Trustee Nominating Committee has allowed me to work with people from the business school, the law school, the medical school, the dental school. Once you spend some time on that committee, you realize that you're really working for the good of, of the university as a whole. The Class of 1991 scholarship is my attempt to give back and to encourage my classmates to give back as well. Each year, anyone who gave to the fund and the students who have received funding from the fund get together for dinner. And it's been a wonderful opportunity to see what the students are up to, get a real idea of, of where our money is going, and hopefully encourage people to support more students in the future. As far as the honors that I've received, that is by far the top. It's really a lot to take in. It, gave me a tremendously warm feeling about Columbia from its oldest uh, living alums right down to its newest graduates. Daniel Hirsch, Business 84. And I wanted to expand my education in other fields of, of business, which I found at the business school here. And those were the ones that really helped me define my job and eventually running my own company. In the first week of classes, we had a course in statistics, and uh, Professor Miller, he arrived with a box full of uh, peanuts. And then he had us open that, uh, uh, that package, count the peanuts, and I found that was so fantastic, and uh, I fell in love with this guy immediately. Together with another Columbia alumni, um, we founded the Columbia University Club of Argentina in, um, back in 1985, exclusively um, as a, a business school graduate. But we found that uh, there were friends that were, had degrees in law, in journalism, in architecture, and so we really obviously had to open it up to, 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 to everybody else. There is always somebody at the end of a telephone number that, uh, that we have or an email address that we have. It has really not been a problem or a drawback uh, being that far away. We invite people, guest speakers from journalists, actors and ambassadors, and, and, and then we had a chance also to invite Nobel Prize winners being honored with this uh, medal uh, for whatever I did for Colombia, which I did uh, with my heart, and, and it has been a lot of fun. And being re rewarded uh, uh, by doing that is, um, is an honor. The Honorable Jack B. Weinstein, Law 48, 
Honorary Degree 04. I got uh, my training as a midshipman here at Columbia in the program in 1942. I applied by mail from the Far Pacific and was admitted. When I came as a first year student, I was in awe of it. This was like a necropolis. It was really like being dropped in a parachute into heaven. Between my wife's working and the GI Bill, which gave us about $90 a month, and free books and free tuition, uh, I was uh, released from all tension and with free access to the stacks here at the law school and this wonderful, wonderful library. Subsequent to graduation, I taught as a fellow here, but I taught uh, almost continuously for over 50 years. The Socratic method is then used uh, was uh, cruel. And it was for that reason that uh, six of us uh, asked the dean to set up a new system and ameliorate some of this uh, harshness that we thought was unnecessary. My wife was a graduate of the School of Social Work. When she died last year, I made a, what was for us a very substantial contribution to the law school to link social work and law. Both of us were convinced that criminal law and other aspects of law required a, a more human face, a more, more of a social worker face. We are very proud to recognize today our alumni medalists. It felt very good <laughs> coming in with nothing and uh, going out with a gold medal, my God. <laughs> What a transformation.